So today I'm going to show you how to wire in a, a, a Hello VNT PWM uh, turbo vane controller. Here's the actuator. Has this five pin pinout from left to right, one to five. Um, I do not have the correct connector for it. But if you take a mass airflow sensor connector and trim the sides a little bit, it will slip on, it just will not latch. This is just for testing my connector shells ordered. To wire it in, take pin one. There's a black wire and ignore my rat's nest wiring. But the black wire goes to red wire. The red wire comes here to the N75 valve. And the red wire you want to tap into your, on an AOH, it's yellow and black. But it is the 12 volt power from the 109 relay fed through fuse 34. That's key on power through the 109 relay. So pin one on the actuator goes to key on power at the N75 valve. Pin two on here is actually the color I should have used, but anyway, pin two is ground. Pin two goes to a brown wire, and the brown wire I just had bugged on to chassis ground. You can ground it anywhere, but I just did this so it's close to my N75 valve so the wires are the same length. And pin four goes to orange, and orange taps into the other wire on the N75 valve. All right, I got my tune flashed for the actuator and we're in basic settings group 11 so it cycles the actuator whatever 10 or 15 seconds and I have the actuator here that would be veins open and that would be veins closed see how fast the actuator can move from open to closed um, I can also reverse reverse it so depends on how your actuator is mounted if you want um, closed to be open and open to be closed I can reverse the output on this actuator very easily in the tune so you can mount your actuator however it works best and then put the tune for whichever direction it needs to move to make boost all right, so boost on is pushing the actuator up, which makes boost on this turbo, and boost off pulls it down.